All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be watching WandaVision episode six and seven. Now, now I already poured myself a drink. I did it off camera because I just did it in my kitchen. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna make a drink. Why am I out of focus? I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna make a drink, you know? But okay, so in the last episode of WandaVision, uh, last two episodes actually, that was a, uh, why am I going out of focus so much? I'm, okay. Okay, that should fix it. Okay, so episode five, we got her brother back, but it's not her brother. Like, it is her brother, but it's not. It's not the original actor. It's Evan Peters as her brother. So, okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. I like Evan Peters, so. And then Wanda left. She left the hex. That's what we're calling it now. And she came out and warned everyone. She's like, look. I don't bother you you don't bother me i have what i want and that's my family she didn't say the family part but she's like no one will ever take that away from me again so she is dedicated to holding this for as long as she can because she just wants a family dog that's all she wants wait no i'm wrong i'm wrong we're watching seven and eight today seven and eight i knew i knew i was wrong okay and then in the seventh episode they went halloween trick or, they went trick-or-treating because it was halloween right vision was like i'm gonna be on neighborhood watch but he wasn't he lied and he's actually he went and found the border and he's like oh shit and he got out of the border and that shit was sucking him back in you know it's like he doesn't want him to leave but because he's dead on the outside and so wanda her kids could sense it you know her you know she's like mom dad's in trouble and so she just expanded the fuck out of it now she expanded it a lot more than she really needed to like not just to save i guess she doesn't know where vision is technically like exactly so she's like fuck it i'm just gonna make sure i get him you know even though he was like five feet in front of it but she dude it looks like she expanded it for like a mile you know like another mile in it yeah and darcy got stuck in there too so and like everyone like it, it was like a clown show or something so anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes will also be on patreon so let's start this episode intentionally expanding the borders of the false world we created uh -huh. just myself <laughs> that'll show me <sighs> bro what show are, what show are they trying to do right now like, I get the style, it's very familiar, but I can't fucking pinpoint it. Oh, is she like losing control because she expanded it too much and it's just too much to, uh, uh, just because it's too much to like control at once and it's probably what's going on. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah. Okay, the TV show, dude, I know what they're doing. It's like showing you what happens and then they, they show, they cut to like an interview. Like what? The, I, I gotta look it off because I have, I'm stumped. Okay, okay, so it's supposed to be like a modern family in the office. Okay, okay. I, w I had arrested development in my head because of the camera style they were using, but they didn't do interviews and I've never seen the office if I'm, or modern family if I'm being honest, so. We launched today. Yes, sir. All right, bet. Uh, how's Vision feeling? You're the new clown? <laughs> oh, there's Darcy. You don't remember me from last night? Ties, that was <laughs> unspoken understanding. <laughs> Hard pass. Ooh. Oh, she was okay, she wasn't even chained. He's gonna snap Darcy out of it and then work with her. Tonight, Uncle P said that thing about re-killing dad. Don't mm. that man said he is not your uncle. Okay. Mm. Have all the answers, right? Ah, oh, but she doesn't. Well, I don't. Yeah. Not a yente. <laughs> no, she's going crazy. To believe that everything is meaningless. <laughs> same, bro, same. Nothing matters. Okay, so maybe I went a little too dark there. Uh-huh. In tough skin. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't bite. I actually did bite a kid once. <laughs> God damn, you crazy bitch. Mole on my back that I just can't. Oh, bro, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. If one of you two could take a quick look, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Don't do that to my fucking kids. Oh, she looks really happy to finally have some her time. Uh, it's... Oh, yeah, it's going back to like the 50s. No, you're not. 
bro, you look just like me when you say that. No, you're not. Hmm. Code name Cataract. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Hayward wasn't decommissioning Vision. He was trying to bring him back online, tracking Vision inside the hex. Oh. Hayward wants his sentient weapon back. Oh. Someone has to tell Wanda. Okay, so yeah, Hayward just wants, just wants Vision. He wants his weapon back. Yeah, if we go and tell Wanda that, maybe she'll do something. It's you. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, yeah, this is our friend she was talking about. Show you what we brought you. But I have no idea who this is. I don't think I'm supposed to know. Oh, shit. I guess we did have the budget for that. Hello? Uh, excuse me? Uh, you, you tried to- Got a clown show, dude. Surprised I'm not in there. Fine, I'll go out with you, but I'm <laughs> a lobster. Jesus Christ. Dude, you gotta just- you gotta put your fingers on her head. Yep. Dr. Darcy Lewis, I intercepted a communication regarding your work. The lines just got when off stage. did you wait did he intercept her work in a different movie like her interstellar work like ultra age of ultron or something my children safe that i don't know and who is that imposter pietro beats me mm-hmm great ah! <laughs> can't hear you drive <laughs> <laughs> oh the thing's finally dead i don't understand what's happening yeah i mean you there i can't fix it I think, okay, I, I think it's just because she made it too big. What you deserve? Oh, what? What? Bro. You're not supposed to talk. Yeah. Who, the f who said that? Feeling depressed. Yeah. A unique antidepressant that works to anchor you back to your oh. reality. Nexus? Okay. For the reality of your choice. Uh huh. Include feeling your feelings, confronting your feeling truth, your feelings, destiny, and possibly more depression. <laughs> and more depression. You to move on with your life. Damn. Because the world doesn't revolve around you. <laughs> or does it? <laughs> it doesn't. Damn. Nexus sounds like it's just gonna make your problem. It's just gonna exaggerate your problems, make them worse. And not actually fix it. You're quiet, Agnes. Yeah, I like it when you don't talk. On the inside. Oh. Yeah, he can read Do her. Do you think he, her mom was okay? He got Wanda's powers. And he got Pietro's powers. <laughs> Ralph says I... Damn, she's literally, that's funny. She's literally an astronaut. Godspeed, Dude, Captain. Her, her suit's literally just gonna change as soon as she walks through. How much faith you have in this thing? Zero. Absolutely zero. Space rover. Oh, it's a space Sail rover. Sail right through, unharmed. Okay, it's a space rover. That's okay. That's why she's in a, literally in a space suit. Moving out. Watch, it's just gonna turn her into like a, um, one of the clowns or whatever, like a clown bus. Oh, she, oh, she's fighting to get in. What happened to sailing right through? Yeah. I'm close! <laughs> nope. Structural integrity is failing. It's disintegrating. No, it's being oh, rewritten. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get a med evac now. Yeah, dude, it like literally rejected her. It rejected the bus, but now it's eating it. Oh. Watch out! Oh. Literally said a maximum capacity. No. No. Oh. I can get through. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was easy. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Captain Marvel. Kids, they gave her the toughest one. Oh. Damn, she fucking wheeled her way through that shit. <laughs> What are they? Oh, they did say it was like writing, rewriting her DNA or something. What, does she have fucking superpowers now? So, Wanda killed me? <laughs> yes, but she had to. Simple. Yeah. You asked her to do it. Mm -hmm. Why would I have done that? <laughs> to save the universe? Mm-hmm. Well, half of it. Did it work? Yeah, 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 but then it didn't. Found time and killed you himself. Yeah. Context. I came back and died again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Savage as fuck. Kind of overkill out in the sticks here, don't you think? I like how they talk about it, but I feel like the information wouldn't be like public. Like how Vision was killed twice. I f 
I feel like they would have kept that private. Also, it never rains in Westview, right? Whoa! Bro, what the fuck are you doing? I'm not amused. <laughs> yeah, it's just Wanda trying to stop him from coming home. Bro, fuck, the site does not need to be fixed. Code dates back to an AI called Jarvis. Mm hmm. It's a plan for global genocide. Yes. What I don't get is why you can't leave the hex. Because he only exists inside of it. Outside of it, he's dead. I've been watching WandaVision for the past week and. Oh, same. <laughs> to have is real. Yeah. But it's because he's only real because Wanda's keeping him alive herself. Oh no, Wanda's gonna tweak when she sees Rambo. <gasps> Damn. This whole thing is about vision. Get out of my uh, was trying to bring him to <laughs> Wanda just hear her out. Just hear her out. The missiles can't Oh shit, everyone's seeing it. Do is lie! Ooh. Ooh. Do it then. Uh, pussy. Once, don't let him make you the villain. Yeah. Maybe I already am. No, 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 no. No, you're not. What the fuck are you gonna do, Agnes? The worst thing I can think of has already happened to me. Yeah, and mom. And I can't change it. I, I can't undo it. I, I can't. Yeah, she's facts. I think you overstayed your welcome. Bro, fuck off. I... This doesn't concern you. Yeah, why are you here? Don't make me hurt you. Bro, we were just getting through to her. She was listening. Fuck. Okay. Well, every other NPC literally paused when they started talking. Like, they all... Fuck off. Come on! Like, they're all... Like, I'm pretty sure they're all just frozen. Is Agnes controlled by Wanda? Because she was the only one that was able to freely move right there. Like, I mean, is she not controlled by Wanda? Because she was able to freely move and didn't seem like anyone else was. Talking to you. When I sh this is, this is <laughs> yeah, why are you doing this interview? <laughs> you just realize, like, why are you doing this? So I'll just meet you there then. Aw, oh, that's fucked. Thank you, Agnes. Sit down. <laughs> and it kind of seems like Agnes just does her own shit half the time. Like, she's not like in, she's not like the other NPCs who are always just constantly doing something. I don't know, maybe Wanda just made her like that neighbor that comes, like, uh, yeah, just comes by all the time. Oh, God, what are we noticing? Wanda, what are we noticing here? Yeah. It's a big-ass fucking fly. Where are the twins? Yeah, where are the kids at? playing in the basement bro I'm getting fucking insidious vibes right now like this house is just creepy the color scheme it's dark and like ah boys and like the tone that's going on right now is like insidious what the fuck is this <laughs> what the fuck Tommy Bro, this is some Game of Thrones shit. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck is that? You were the only magical girl in town, did you? What do you mean by that? Late to finally meet you, dear. Okay. Oh, she's a fucking witch too. Okay, so Agnes has been. She's been. She, okay. Okay. She's been intentionally doing everything every time. That's how she knew how to come in at the perfect second every time. I just thought that was like a TV show gag that they were making, you know, that they were trying to do, but... Yeah. Oh. So is Ag... Yeah. Oh, she totally finessed Vision and she was controlling Pietro right there. Oh, she's the one behind the camera. And I killed Sparky too. <gasps> you fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Oh, that's the end of the episode? You fucking bitch. You killed fucking Sparky? Alright, it's hands, bro. It's hands. It's hands. Alright, let's watch episode 8. Damn, that episode went by fast too. Okay, 1693. 
What are, what are we doing here? Oh shit, I didn't start audio. Barrett, enough deception. <laughs> I did not break your rules. I followed them loosely. Yeah. Wait. No. You're gonna burn her? Please. Let's fucking burn her ass. <laughs> oh shit! Die whore, die. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I will honestly fuck this bitch. Oh, Uno reverse card. Uno reverse card? Yeah, it turned purple and... <laughs> oh, she's sucking the life out of them. Yeah, bro, she knew she could win from the beginning. Oh, Agnes is gonna win this. Aww. Aww. Alright, so Agnes is that kind of witch. Yeah, they, none of them stood a chance, dude. She's way too powerful. Alright, so she's been alive since 1693. Damn. My thoughts are not available to you, Tuts. They okay. never ever so, were. Is Wanda or Agnes more- who's more powerful between Wanda and Agnes, then? Because Agnes doesn't look bothered at all by Wanda. Oh, my children. <laughs> I guess she's literally mocking her. Your magic's no good here. <laughs> Why? Protection spell? Wanted each wall? Oh, fuck off. That cast the runes can use her magic. Bro, Wanda's a modern witch. She doesn't know this fucking sorcery bullshit. A crystal possession. Bitch. Necromancy was a non starter since your real brother's body is on another continent. <sighs> Not to mention full of holes. Oh! By your own self doubt that you believed it. Yeah, because oh. she wanted to believe it desperately. What are you doing with that? Dude, that's a fucking huge fly. Imperio. Imperio. What the fuck? Honey. Bro, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> hmm. Thousands of people under your thumb. Oh, oh, that makes my nose itch. Fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Reformator Figura. Valamogus. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. Molding. You're even running illusion smiles away at the edge of town. Magic on autopilot. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, she's jealous. What's your secret, sister? Yep, she's jealous. Don't fucking worry about it, you jealous ass bitch. I'm just more talented than you, to be honest. I don't know half this sorcery bullshit, you know, and I, I'm doing shit you never could. Anything. I'm not. Mm. All you could recall was the feeling. Yeah. You felt empty. Alone. Just nothingness. Nothingness. Mm-hmm. It's been fun playing pretend for a while, hasn't it, Wanda? What, what, what are you doing with that? Repete. Memoria. I don't know. She's gonna do some bullshit with that. She's gonna... <laughs> Get some real reruns. Okay. That was a good TV show pun. <laughs> no. Yeah, fuck you. Did you forget who's got your children stashed away in her bewitched basement? Fuck. Mama. Eva. Oh. Oh, look. 
Uh, those are all the TV shows and everything. I saw Bewitched in there. More for TV night. English, Papa! Uh, oh shit, she's actually there. Now we can begin. Oh, she's not an actual redhead? Okay, yeah. Wait, Bewitched, I'm in. I love Lucy. What else is in there? I didn't see Vic Dan Dyke in there. But damn, Agnes is making her relive her child. <gasps> oh, oh no. Bro, wait. That's just going on outside? Oh, the Vic Dan Dyke show right there. <laughs> Dyke again? Always sitcom, sitcom. Okay, yeah, so everything she replicated was just based off her childhood. Damn. It always becomes fine. <laughs> okay, Papa, start it for us. Bro, they're just watching TV. Oh, there's a fucking war going on outside. <laughs> yep. That was the kind of shit that happened in episode one. <laughs> yep, this really influenced her. <laughs> Bro, they really hit us with that? Oh my god, that caught me so off guard. Holy shit. Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this is when her parents died then. And this is, uh... Like when they found Tony's missile inside. Uh, yep, Stark Industries. Yeah, but the bomb never goes off. It doesn't. It doesn't go off. Aww. How's the TV still on? You realize it was all a bad dream. I wish. I wish. Pull her out. It's the probability hex. No, I. Wait. It just never went off. It was, it yeah. was defective. We didn't know that. Yeah. We I were, thought we were trapped. Yeah, I thought they didn't have powers as kids. I thought they got their powers from the Mind Stone in Age of Ultron. Yeah, two days. Where'd you get the big guns, Wanda? From the Mind Stone, bitch. I don't want to go back there. Yeah. I know. You. The only way forward is back. Yeah, I mean, Agnes is just taking her through. Yep, Hydra. Agnes is taking her through her past to, like, figure out where it all, like, how she got so powerful. This is where she was experimented on. Don't be scared. You already lived it once. <sighs> yep, yep, there we go. Mindstone. Okay, wait, why is it blue in the scepter if it's actually, like, yellow? That always, like, kind of threw me off, because I always, like... At first, I thought it was a tesseract in the scepter, but no, it's a mind stone. Not one subject has survived that I can't... She's built different. <laughs> it's calling to her. Oh, okay. Or does she see like her future in it? Hit again. Again. Oh. Yeah, that's all the that's all the players they have. What show is this? <gasps> oh. It's just them, okay. Was that bewitched? I have a theory. Hmm. But I need more. Yeah, there's a reason why she survived that with the Mind Stone and no one else did prior. Is that why she connected the, like, she liked the vision so much? <gasps> oh, that's Malcolm in the middle. Besides the fact that Vision's just a genuinely amazing guy, she probably liked him. Like, the Mind Stone probably drew her in more or something. 
Well, whatever is your preference. Aw. Just spend time with me. <laughs> oh, I remember that episode. It is funny because of the grievous injury the man just suffered. Yeah. Oh, see, I read that... Uh, the only mm -hmm. thing that would bring me comfort is seeing him again. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Just let it out. When I try to stand up, it just comes for me again. It's just gonna drown me. No. <laughs> How do you know? Look, if you're feeling down now, wait till they take vision from you. I feel so shitty, dude. It will be sorrow, can it? Like, ah, oh, it's like visions. I don't feel the lack. It's all I've ever known. Yeah. If not love, persevering. Uh oh. Yes, it was very funny, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, he's getting to her, you know, making her feel better. <sighs> the only one that could probably get through to her, you know, at this time, and just comfort her. And then it was just taken away from her. It's like, fuck. Parents dead. Brother dead. Vision dead. Yeah, but yes, bitch, you can shut the fuck up. He wasn't there to pull you back from the darkness, Wanda. Shut the fuck up. Come on, Wanda. You're on the precipice. You are right there. Tell me how you did it. No. You don't deserve to know. And she wants to know how she took over the city or the town. But Wanda doesn't even know. She, she... I wanted him back. Yeah. Uh, she does. She said she blacked out. She probably doesn't even remember this when she took his body. Got it. Thanks. Yep. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, brought him right to Hayward. Not Vision. I mean, brought her. I'd like to show you something. And then you'll give him to me. No. Please, just... Yeah they, yeah, they took him apart, and so... She's like, pissed. Ah, oh, that pains her. Ah. Oh. What? Dude, every time I see his face with his, like, lifeless eyes, dude. I just want to bury him. That's all I want. Are you sure? <laughs> Not everyone has the kind of power that could bring their soulmate back online. Yeah. I cannot allow you to take three billion dollars worth of vibranium just to put it in the ground. Three billion? <laughs> yeah, he kind of has a point. Yeah. Well, that's just it, Wanda. He isn't yours. He's legally ours. It's a fuck off. Oh yeah, she's taking him. Shoot me, bitch, I dare you. Fall back. It's fine. Let her see for herself. Oh, okay, so I guess she doesn't take... She probably goes back later and takes them. Like, yeah, okay, so this is... She's conscious of this. And then she, later on is probably when she blacks out to go and take them. Oh, what the fuck? Just going to Westview. So it is a real town. Prior to her taking it over. Wait, didn't that one cop in like, when we first found out what's happening, that one cop said it's not real. Cause he's from Southview or some, I don't know, some shit like that. Oh, yep. Yeah. Not the mailman. Uh, this is everyone in real life, just living their normal lives. Oh wait, I like how she has a red car. I was like her, her color is red. To grow old and who, who gave her that? <laughs> yep. She can't take the pain anymore. 
started when she built the house and then she realized Yep, there he is. What's some color? Oh, her. Yep, and now she's... She's realizing how it all started. All the TV lights. Damn, this is weird to see this set from this angle. Whoa. We have a quick question. So, like, obviously they're showing this the full set right there. Not just what's on camera. So, are they? Did they make a movie set to show in the show, or is that just the actual movie set? If you know what I mean. If you... <gasps> you fucking bitch! What are you doing? A myth, a being capable of spontaneous creation, using it to make breakfast for dinner. Let go. Of <laughs> you got a fucking problem with that? I actually had that tonight. It's chaos magic, Wanda. Mm -hmm. That makes you a Scarlet Witch. Oh, she fucking said it. That's her real name, yep. Okay. All right, that was episode eight. Okay. So, any post credits? Oh, shit, there is. Oh, there's actually post credits in this one. Okay. We took this thing apart and put it back together again a million times. Oh. Tried every type of power supply on the. But you don't have the mind stone. Needed was a little energy directly from the source. Oh. <gasps> oh. Ready, sir. What the fuck? Okay. So okay, they created their own vision. They yeah. So he weaponized them like Monica, like Rambo was saying, in stuff. All right, so that was WandaVision, episode seven and eight. Okay, I think episode eight is, okay, episode eight is definitely my favorite out of the entire series. I loved how we got to see more backstory on Wanda. It's like, we already knew, but we got to see a new perspective on it all, you know? Like we knew the story about her family and everything, and we knew about her in the Mind Stone, but we got to see like, you know, an actual perspective on it. So that was, that was really nice. And okay, when she was like in her apartment, and just watching the Vic, the Van Dyke show. When she was watching the show. And like her mom looked out and like yeah there's a little war zone happening outside. But I was like ah it's just Russian shit. But okay and it's like yeah I know her, how her parents died and everything. But it's like I thought that in my head like oh is this how her parents died? Like is it about to happen? And then I don't know. It, but like her just like watching the show and just being so into it. It just like it was such a pure moment. I just completely forgot about that. And then so the explosion caught me super off guard. You know, I did think about it. Oh, this could be the moment and it was so Yeah, you know, and then we got to see then we got to see like her and like her first interaction with the Mind Stone You know how she pretty much got her powers, which is pretty cool to see Um, I okay. I kind of think that's probably why She liked vision so much it's because well, yeah, he's an awesome dude for sure Like he's an awesome dude but also like the connection to the Mind Stone because it's like what gave her her power. So maybe, maybe, I don't know, that's probably just like, it's probably not accurate, but it's like, it's cool to think about. Yeah. Okay, and then Agnes being like a fucking witch, like, okay, dude, Agnes always, like she fell off a little bit. Like she just felt weird, dude. She just was kind of sus. Like her like body language sometimes was just like, okay, kind of sus. But I was like, okay, whatever, whatever, I'll just go with it. But. She was controlling mo she was controlling a lot of things that were happening, you know, all like with the um, the um, interactions within the, the town, you know, like her brother showing up, Herb and everything. Um Sparky. <laughs> RIP Sparky. Okay, I'm sure Agnes said it and I'm sure I talked over it so I didn't hear it. But when Wanda took over the town, was Agnes already in it and she, there just happened to be another witch in the town or like did Agnes kind of like see what's going on? She's like, oh, what the fuck? And she checked it out and she's like, oh, OK, you know, like, well, which one is it? Like, was she already there or she see what's going on from outside? And she's like, oh, let me, let me go inside and see what's going on here. You know, she probably said it, but I probably talked over it. So I apologize. But she yeah. So she took Wanda through her backstories and everything because she wants to find out. How are you so goddamn powerful? And how are you do how are you doing this to Westview? Like how? I need to know how. But guess what, bitch? Wanda doesn't even know how. She's just that much more talented than you. You're sorry, bro. She doesn't know any of these fucking spells that you're telling her or whatever. And she's still like, she's oh my god, dude. Imagine if Wanda knew all the spells too. Like, oh my god. 
Bro, imagine she was trained by Doctor Strange. Oh my God. And this just makes me more excited to watch Multiverse of Madness because, because like, okay, in Multiverse of Madness, I mean, I'm avoiding everything I possibly can like on Twitter about it. Anytime I see anything like reference to it, I just go, I just go, I don't look, I don't look. You know, I'm trying to avoid it, but there are some things that I saw like, oh, actually, guess what? So my parents were like, oh, I want to watch it. Can you set it up on our TV? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I set it up on their TV and I, just, I left, right? I came back to my room. I was like, okay, I'm not going to watch it. And then like a little bit later, my mom's calling me and I'm like, hello? And she's like, she's bad in this movie? I was like, hang up, you know? And I was just like, dog, like, why, why did you tell me that? Like, come on. You know, so I told her not to say anything else, but I, I know Wanda's supposed to be like a bad person, like a bad guy in the movie. So I kind of think it's because Dr. Strange probably calls her out for doing this. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know? And then she's like, but we, we get why she's doing it, you know? And so she's perceived as a villain in Multiverse of Madness or something. So like the reason why she's doing it is pure and good intentions, like to, you know, good intentions for herself but she's manipulating a lot of people so you know it's like yeah from like from our perspective it's like yeah this is wrong but she's just she just wants a family bro she got everything taken away from her first she got her parents taken away from her and then she grew up with her brother and then he got taken away from her and then she met vision and then they fell in love and then he got taken away from her twice twice she killed him the first time and then Thanos is like nope give me that shit <laughs> just rip that shit out so like i ugh, like i understand her pain like okay i don't understand it but i can sympathize for her i can i can justify why she's doing this you know it doesn't make it right but i i see why so rambo went through the the hex you know it like they did say it was rewriting her dna but i guess the the last time she did it it like i don't know she started like her vision was all weird i thought she was wearing contacts at first but then it went away in her eyes and then when wanda was holding her she dropped her and then you know she like she caught herself and then her powers came out or something so i guess i guess rambo has powers now it's lit but yeah and then hayward just wants to weaponize vision that's all he's wanted from the beginning you know and so they they took the drone they sent in there that wanda you know threw back at them and i had her power on it so then they use that to create another vision i'm pretty sure the vision they just created is it's not vision's actual body because wanda has his body and he did say we've rebuilt this a million times like not literally a million times but a lot of times so i think they just took his original body and then basically just made a clone and now they have something to power it they have you know the power right from the source is like he said so you know and like when it comes down to wanda i can somewhat feel her pain because you know it's like i've never had anyone taken away from me like she has you know in that context but you know i've had people in my life that like i've i've liked a lot you know probably loved and then just one day they're just gone like nothing bad happened to them but they just dipped and it's like damn it just blindsides you hell about it and it's like damn you know, so like that's probably that's the best way I can relate to her. I've never had any family members just pass away out of nowhere. So thankfully for that. But, you know, I've had people that I've probably, you know, you could probably say I've loved and then they're just they're just gone. And it's like, damn. So that's, that's probably the best way I can relate to her in this way. And like it hurts. It hurts just for that to happen. You know, like that's not as bad as what happened to Wanda. So I, I can't even imagine what she must be feeling because it's like fuck it brings me to this question is it better to have loved and have lost than to have never loved at all you know because like dude like the grief and just like the emotional pain of like losing someone that you love it fucking sucks dude it's i honestly dude it's probably the worst feeling i've ever felt in my life if i'm being honest and like it's worse than like physical pain and like i feel like i've been in some pretty physical pain in my life like dog i've broken both my wrist you know this wrist it got crushed like this hand got pinned on something and my elbow got pinned and my fingers touched my fucking arm right here okay that that's how bad my wrist broke right and that hurt a lot but you know and like i've torn my acl i broke my kneecap i bro i've torn my meniscus I've had a couple injuries in my life, you know, and like, dude, 
the worst emotional pain I've ever felt was worse than everything. And what than all those physical injuries. And it's like, fuck. Cause like, dude, it doesn't just, it doesn't go away. It's, it just lingers, you know? It's like, fuck. You just feel like a pain in your chest and you know, like your appetite just gets completely shattered. In, like like you could be physically hungry but food's just not appealing at all you know like dude it's hard to even eat like 1500 calories in a day and like that's not a lot of food at all that is nothing but it's kind of just something that you have to experience for yourself to really understand it like and it happens to most people so i'm sure a lot of you guys kind of like you guys understand what i'm trying to say you know but until it happens to you you're not really gonna you're not gonna understand it. Like before it happened to me, I would kind of, I would hear it in songs like all the time, you know, like them sing about it. I'd hear them like talk about it in songs like all the time. And it's just like, oh yeah, like, um, yeah, that, that sucks, you know? But then it's like, when it happens and then you re-listen to those songs, you're like, fuck. You're like, fuck, Juice World was right. Like until you really see her shadows, you're like, yeah, you don't get it. You know, it's like that pain in your chest, you know? It's like, mm. You know, that's probably what Wanda was feeling right there when she was on like the lot for the house. And then it, all that pain just probably bottled up in her chest and then just let it out, you know, because she just couldn't take it anymore. So, like, yeah, I'd probably do the same shit. Like, she's probably grieving and hurting way more than I ever did. So it's like, yeah, I'd probably do the same shit. Like, she didn't intentionally just do it. It just happened because, you know, it's just... She didn't even know she could do that. It just, she just did it. But yeah, that was WandaVision, episode seven and eight. We got episode nine, the finale in the next episode. I can't wait. I decided to make episode nine its own video because that's like a 50 minute episode. So I'm gonna make that its own video. So comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.